Hello people, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a little bit of cooking myself because everybody keeps asking me about a rag pudding. A lot of you know what a rag pudding is but a lot of you don't know what a rag pudding is. So I've just come back from Hyde, I've been shopping in Hyde and I've got myself a rag pudding. Get it from the market downstairs uh, in Hyde Town Centre. Anyway, let's have a look. So here it is. This is it, traditional beef pudding, ready, ready cooked. You can boil, you can bake it, you can microwave it, you can steam it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, do you know what I've forgotten? Flipping potato. So I'm gonna have to nip to the shop. Right guys, I'm back, I've been to the shop and I've been and got a tin of peas, marrow fat peas and myself a baking potato well they only have four so I had to I had to get four so let's give them a peel so I've got my potato here and my peeler so what we're gonna do it's not time for tea yet so I'm just getting things prepared for later on while it's still light and you can actually see me working in the kitchen Give me my bit to show people how I make my chips. Now I'm having healthy chips today. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to part boil them. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put that in the bin. We're going to, we're going to put them in the air fryer. Now this is how I used to do chips a long time ago when I was a child. So my mum used to make them. And my dad. So I only need one potato because there's only me. So there we go. So I've got a pan, cold water. So what I'm going to do is just let them soak in that for a bit and get some of the starch out of the potato. This is how I was taught when I was a chef or an apprentice chef many, many years ago. Right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to leave them to soak for a good half an hour to an hour and then we'll change the water let it soak for another half an hour, then we'll put a bit of salt in, some fresh water, and we'll boil them for five, ten minutes tops, well, not even ten minutes, five to eight minutes, take them out of there, in the air fryer, Bob's a jobby. Um, I've done all the soaking of all the chips and everything, so what I'm going to do now, is just, I boil my kettle, I'm going to put some hot water onto the chips and then we're going to boil them for five minutes so here's the pan of chips some boiling water just enough just to cover them that's all we need and then we're going to pop them onto there for five minutes so i'll see you in a minute Right, so there we go guys, that's been boiling now for about six minutes, so I'm going to take that off the heat and then we're going to drain them out anyway, like so, Just let them drain away for a couple of minutes. Now what I'm going to do now, I've decided we're going to boil the uh, rag pudding. So, again, some hot water on there, and then just pop it on there, and we're going to let that boil away until our chips are ready. Alright, now, I buy, I buy this sort of stuff. It's fry light, but I use the avocado one. 
I think it's a lot better than the sunflower one. I used to use it when I did keto and that, so I've always used it since. So what we're going to do now is just spray some over the chips. That'll do. And then what we can do with these is pop them in the air fryer basket. Back in the sink. So there, I've got them in my air fry basket. Pop them in. And I've got it on 200. And I'm going to put it on for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take it back down to about 6. Because what I want to do, I want to give them a shake when they're halfway cooked. And that's still bubbling away. What we're going to do now is just open the tin of peas there we go back, back away what I have for my peas I have this little plastic container and I just pour them in there how many I want and then pour the rest the juice back so I can have them tomorrow and then ones I'm just going to pop in the microwave but obviously it's not ready to do yet so we're just waiting on the chips and the rag pudding right there we go so, you can see what the chips look like at the moment. So, I'm going to give them a, a good shake. There we are, give them another shake. Then, we're going to pop them back in for about another four or five minutes. Right, guys, look at that. Me chips. Right, so. What I've been doing as well, I've got my plate warming, not water, in my bowl, because I hate a cold plate with cold food. So I'll stick that on there and then tip my chips out. Oh, there's one left in there. We've got a stowaway. Look at that. Right, we're going to open this rag pudding now. Before we open the rag pudding, we're going to put my peas in there. One minute. Right, so, bring the chips in. Rag pudding. So, let's cut along that way. And then, cut down that way. To reveal the rag pudding. So that's its packaging and it's just wrapped in this then okay so unravel that and that my friends is what you call a rag pudding look at that rag pudding got me chips here's me peas Pea juice. It's enough, I think, for me. Let's just get rid of all the rubbish. And then we want a bit of salt. I always use this Himalayan salt. Again, it's from my kids all day. going to say he hasn't put his vinegar on first that's because I'm not having any vinegar so let's give it a go here it is I'm going to cut into this so 
can actually see it. Look at that. Look at the meat in there. Big chunks of steak. How good does that look, guys? Mmm. Oh. I don't know what you're thinking. What's these chips like? Oh. There they go. Absolutely. Lovely. Right, guys. So, you've seen it. So... Let's have a taste of the rag pudding with the chips. Mm. The way it would describe a rag pudding, it's a lot like a pudding you get from a chippy that we're used to. For us people <laughs> who don't live a bit further up north, because they all know what a rag pudding is, or over to the east side um it's a like like i say it's like a pudding but the suet is a lot lot thinner and it's not as chewy it just this just sort of melts in your mouth and as i've shown you massive chunks of meat inside as you can see and they are just delicious and my chips i know i know they're not proper chips, are they? But they're a good substitute because they're not fattening. The only fattening bit on the plate really is the suet. And it's like I say, it's a lot thinner. They are nice. I do enjoy a good rag pudding. Sometimes I'll just eat the rag pudding on its own. They are great. If you've had one yourselves, let me know. See what you think of them. Do you prefer them than a pudding? A rag one? Chips are lovely. Don't get me wrong, they're not proper chips. They haven't got that taste of a proper chip. But they have got a chip taste. And that's why I've not put any vinegar on. Just put a bit of salt on. Great substitute if you want to lose a bit of weight, you don't want to eat too much. And that's what I do when I'm at home. If I cook something like this myself, I try and eat healthy wise. The only takeaway is obviously when I'm doing my reviews. So, if you'd like more of these home ones, of me cooking on, sometimes you have a pig meal, guys. Because some of my subscribers have asked me, how do you live at home? You know, what do you eat when you're at home instead of your takeaways and everything? So if you want to see more of them and more of how I live, because I do live on my own in a two bedroom flat. Um, it's not my flat, it's a housing association. And that's another story I'll go over that with you another day. So I know what you're all thinking. What score are you going to give it? Well, I'm going to say um, a seven, a seven out of 10, because it's not, it's not the proper, um, proper chips, plate's still hot, my food's still hot, so it's a good seven. So I'm going to finish this off on my own now, thank you very much for watching and if you haven't subscribed already please do so. And don't forget to hit that little bell to uh, that'll inform you when I post a new video. And like I said, if you do want more videos, just put down below a little comment. Yes, for some more home videos. You know what I do during the day when I'm not working. Can't show you my work side of work because I work at the airport and I work airside, and that's all I can say. Um, and obviously I'm not allowed to film over there. So, if you want some more of these and some more of my life, just give us a nod, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it will push it out to more people and it will get my channel bigger. I'll get more subscribers and we can share this with everybody. 
thank you very much for watching again. And I'll see you all soon on my next video, hopefully. Bye, people. Thank you.